So this video should really be of interest to my A-level electronics students. It's likely to be of interest to other people as well because we're not the only ones who are programming older microcontrollers like this one's a PIC16F88 but the same is going to apply to the uh, PIC16F84 and uh, I'm going to guess that it probably applies to many of the other older 8-bit microcontrollers. So uh, we've always used PIC kit 3s Last year we bought a couple of Picket 4s and found that we couldn't program the microcontrollers. Uh, at that time we gave up, um, didn't have time to look into it, but uh, more recently uh, I do want to get them working so I've looked into it and I've now resolved the problem. Uh, just before I tell you what that problem is, uh, or rather how to resolve it, let's just have a quick look at my uh, very simple circuit. And the key thing to note is that pin 1 which is uh, the MCLR slash VPP line connects straight to pin 4 master clear and then we've got a 10k resistor pulling pin um, 4 up to uh, VDD. Uh, now that is as per the recommendation for programming uh, using ICSP in circuit serial programming both for the picket 3 and the picket 4 so I expected the same circuit to work for programming and it wasn't, it wasn't working. Now, um, moreover, what I found was that uh, when I tried it this time around, was that um, it seemed to be that each time I try and program a microcontroller, I was bricking the microcontroller. So I knew that they were good microcontrollers, bought from a reputable supplier. But each time I attempted to program them with it, the Picket 4, uh, it would brick the microcontroller completely dead. Picket 3 with new microcontrollers, no pro problem, I could program them, reprogram them many times over, no problem at all. But as soon as the Picket 4 was used, that was it, the uh, chip was bricked. I couldn't work this out, um, so I contacted uh, Microchip by email and give them their credit. Uh, they did uh, reply to me very, very quickly. And uh, so the suggestion was... Um, uh, have you tried the emergency firmware recovery process as outlined in MPLAB X? Well, I had uh, previously done that, but I tried it again and it didn't work. Then um, I got another email. I'm just clicking through my emails here. Uh, also suggested, also please try a 100 ohm resistor in series with the MCLR line. So that's just quoting an email. I'm not going to mention the guy's name. But he's suggesting to add a 100 ohm resistor there. So let's do that. Now, normally speaking, I'd be trimming these legs down, but uh, just be good enough just for the moment. So now, basically, that's all we're talking about. Just adding, rather than going straight from pin 1 of the picket to pin 4, I've now got a serious resistor. <clears throat> so that was his suggestion. And sure enough, it worked. So, um, yeah, so I managed to program the, using the uh, Picket 4. Oh, incidentally, when I tried to first time around uh, with that 100 ohm resistor, um, MPLAB suggested that I reduce the programming speed, so I changed that. But anyway, so I could program it. Now, I, I thought, hmm maybe that was just luck so I took the 100 ohm resistor out um, and then tried to program but it seemed to brick the microcontroller so then I thought well maybe I made a mistake so I put a new microcontroller in with a 100 ohm resistor programmed absolutely fine then took the 100 ohm resistor out tried reprogramming it again with the picket 4 bricked the microcontroller um, used it on a, a 16F84A, bricked it as well. So it was readily apparent that if I didn't have that 100 ohm resistor, I was um, yeah, having that problem. Now, the explanation in the original email from um, the support guy at Microchip, when he said, also, please try a 100 ohm resistor in series with the MCLR line, he then said, the picket for is so fast that sometimes the MCLR line overshoots. Now, reading around this a little bit, I believe that actually um, the high voltage programming just gets too high a voltage. 
so you need to have some voltage drop across that resistor, presumably. Um, anyway, um, it seemed like I was bricking these chips um, pretty quickly if I didn't uh, use that resistor, so I was a little bit curious because I was not told explicitly that if I didn't use it then I would kill the chip. I did contact them again. Um, I then said in the email, uh, it seems the picket 4 is fully capable of programming the 16 of 88 but only if it has a 100 ohm resistor in series with MCLR. If this resistor is not present the chip will get bricked. Have I misinterpreted the situation somehow? So that was my question. And then the reply was yes, some of these older parts need the 100 ohm resistor with the current picket 4. We are adding documentation to the next MP Lab X re release. So it's just a shame, isn't it, that um, that information was not available when I bought the uh, Picket 4 because now I've written off a few of these chips in trying to get the Picket 4 working. And I think actually, probably a couple of my students at school have also uh, written off microcontrollers by using the Picket 4. So um, yeah, it's, it's an easy enough fix, um, or rather the, the modification so that you don't um, brick them. Once you've bricked them you can't seem to fix them again, but uh, just have that 100 ohm resistor in series with the uh, pin 1 of the picket, and then you won't have the problem you'd be able to use the picket for. Okay, I hope that is uh, very useful to some of my students.